But, me have a thing to say, but, you know, say, anytime them do things, is a political move. It's not that them do it out of, well, them use the constitution still. The constitution was given by Britain. And it's white people write that in the constitution. Yet still, these people who make the constitution what it is, of same-sex marriage as something legitimate. And right now, the African country, they must have fend off America because they are even offered money. The vice president of, of, of America go to Africa go offer money for people to give up them culture. And it boils down to culture, you know. Them want the African them to give up them culture. And most of the, the president, them, I say, we're not talk about that. not enough for culture. That not enough for culture. And as a matter of fact, that not enough no black people culture. And if them take up that pandemic head, it's because them get warped by the European idea of what is and what is not supposed to be because that not in a none of the Caribbean culture. But we see Caribbean people are taking it up to us part of for them we have life. And now we see America try force governments to accept that as a legitimate way of living. And you know see Jamaican people now they will not stand for that. They will not stand for it. But I going to come forward and tell you what I really want to say about this thing and what the government do and how hypocritical them is as it relates to same-sex marriage. This is the cutting edge. And the Black Radar YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and keep listening. The, the, the ministry, the ministress of foreign affairs say that the Jamaican can it is illegal it is illegal in Jamaica for two people of the same sex to get married no I want to ask the minister of foreign affairs did she know that on the north coast of Jamaica a lot of same sex marriage take place in the hotels they must know the Minister of Tourism and the ministers in the house must know because they have to issue marriage certificate or married. Before you get married, you have to have somebody officiate it. And there is a lot, and it's years this going on, years. Years this are going on. So all them are going like them don't know that. All them are going like them don't know that. So what, it's not illegal in the hotel them. It's not, it's not Jamaica, you mean say, all of them big hotels on the North Coast. Don't go by Jamaican law. If the Jamaican law say they're not allowing same-sex marriage, how come same-sex marriage is allowed in the hotels? I dare anybody come tell me say no, no go so. I dare anybody to come tell me say same-sex people not get married in the hotel them, and I can't call the hotel name them too, but I'm not going to do it. Because they're so powerful that they will see a lie and then go sue me, sue this and sue that. And then you say, boy, right now, me not have no clothes and me not have no house and me not have no friend. But them know, them know, say, same sex marriage, people fly down, forget the ambience of Jamaica. Two men or two women get married in a Jamaica. And a lie, me I tell. And a whole heap of people on the North Coast who work in the hotel, them no sign of lie me I tell. I mean, I create no mischief. It's just that the hypocrisy of these politicians is so horrible that they cannot be trusted in nothing with them say. Because when them are doing it, it's just because them know say, you think say anything are going between America and Jamaica because them do that. When them talk, when America say, all right, them go try, when, when, when they. The, 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 the diplomat them in America, when them time up, them now go renew it. They feel like a budge their relationship between America 
and um and 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 and, and, and Jamaica, them don't let them sit out that already. Them don't sit out that already because them did have the, the LGBTQRA SST LAT flag a fly from the embassy. And the two them know say the embassy is American soil. All we can do is just pass and say, oh my God, look what is happening in Jamaica. Look like never did happen in Jamaica. It is America, it did happen in a but but the hotel them is not designated as American soil, no care who own it. Hotels in number in Jamaica is not the soil of the country or the people them will own it. So if a Spanish it's a Spanish hotel, because it built by Spaniards, it don't mean say the Spaniards them grown. If it's a Mexican hotel, it don't mean say it's the America is grown. It's the Mexican them grown. It's Jamaica. Plain up front Jamaica. So how is it now? Because it's when them do that now. To the people, they've been sound like, yes, yes, you know, a long time, you know, a long time, them should do them things and, you know, up front, up front with the thing. Look, your man, people of Jamaica, these people is hypocrite. They cannot be trusted because them know, thousands of people from the North Coast know that people fly down to come to their marriage and it's not man or woman are married. That we did have to say. So when them do that now, it's it, it, it smoke screen. They make it so like say, see then all the people them can relax now. See we show them say we're not in a gear thing. Yeah, no, in a no gear thing. Go up on the north coast certain time of the year. Go up on the north coast certain time, as if you know say legitimate American gear couples. It's frolicking in the sunshine and taking in the coconut water and white rum. Of Jamaica without any stress. And when I tell nobody if you stress them, you know, we just have to say, if we don't talk about say it is not part of the constitution of Jamaica to accept same sex marriage. It must be right across the board. You know, can't do it over there so and then I come make it sound like say uno 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 not uno against it. Uno not against it. Uno not against it. The constitution said, but uno still frolic with it. And it's really it's to tourism. Don't talk. I don't know much of you hear the news about the the counselor. I think it's a PNC counselor will get shot. Them kill him. But the, the arrow of this death is that according to the news that fifteen times the man shoot him, Master. How much a man how much time a man can dead so? What is in a man heart? That him could have pint a gun for a man and, and shot him 15 times. I mean, really, man. And some dangerous heart, them in a Jamaica, you know, you know. The man, them, the man, them heart. It's like, well, you remember first time when people say you don't have no heart? It come like you really have some youth out there when you have no heart. Literally. So I mean, I understand how a man shot a man 15 times. What is the purpose of shooting a man 15 times? You mean, say, after you shot him five times, he could have get up still. Six times, you could have seen him all a blink. Seven times, you see him and just a thud. I mean, how much time you can't shot a man, Rasta? Well, it's it, it, it stay away. It's stay away. Really and truly, it's stay away. You shot a man 15 times. So which part of the man did they know? I don't talk about the man who did the shooting, I talk about the man who get the shot. Because if you shot a man 15 times, you must expect something from the man why you have to shot him so much time. Who paid a man if you kill a man there? Because nobody now ever just shot a man. I mean, a man who just shot a man still, but by accident or mistaken identity, but for if you wash a man 15 times, you know, sir, I send somebody send you. So who send a man then now for make say, but make sure say the man dead, you know. And I say, where you say, boss, what do you mean make sure? All right, what chance do you got? You hear about it now the news. And you hear about it now the news. So the man who pay him for do it now, he must have said, right, it was serious, you know. 15 times him shoot the man. No, sir. And some dog, watch, I mean, I was a dog, you know, because 
No dog now go do that. Trust me. No dog now go do that, Rasta. Believe you me. A man shot a man 15 times. I want them to get it right. <laughs> I mean, what kind of, what kind of God them use that shot the man? You know what I mean? Really. A judge this morning also refused their application for a stay of an injunction blocking construction on the property. You know what that means? It means uh, the big hotel where they have a bill can move, go on, and the people they have to move because uh, there's no access to the Bob Marley Beach. And if you know the space set up, you must know so the access what was there get gulped up by the highway where they make. So the people them is boxed the only place them can access it from is from the sea or the air. That is what we're up now because the judge give them the go ahead to build where they want to build. And you know them, they, they, they mark out one of the back there to build where they want to build. And the people them in the center between the highway and where they want to build. So as you said, the only place left to come from the beach is from the sea. Are from the air. So we don't know who we want to talk to the virgin who has been really representing the family that they left for 60 years. The picnic them did they know barn and picnic barn from 60 years ago. That family is there. And now we hear that the the judge the judge declared that look here, we have to move. The people they want to build them thousand room hotel and highway have to pass it so so no can't come over there so unless you don't go have a boat we can't carry no go over there so we're going to talk to marcus gaff attorney at law who's representing the family who occupy i don't want to say occupy you know occupy the bob marley beach for how much years and so it goes that we are boxed in fencing them lock we in, or they are going to lock we in because a man ball out the other day to buy the place so hot. And really and truly, the places where they used to go, go get a, 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 a beach, a, a bath. Them can't do it again because everywhere fence up. At least most of the places them fence up. We go and come forward. Blessed. Greetings, greetings, man. How are you doing, man? I'm here giving thanks. I'm here giving thanks. All right, so we want to start from the beginning because I thought this thing was over where, when the last time I spoke to you, you was telling me that the court um, give them the property and them have title. What, what, what happened after that? What, what transpired that it reached this level now? Well, you know, Muta, it has one one family. So the Thomas family, the Thomas family is the one who got their title, who's a smacker and them, right? And of course, they're one of the foundation, most of our families who've been on that beach from other things. The other of course, Bunga Gabby's family. Bunga Gabby is the original most of our now being elder who introduced Bob Marley and the Marley family to that beach. And he's the one who was really named that beach Bob Marley in honor of Bob after Bob transition 81. Yeah. So Bunga Gabby's family, who are the Stevensons, that's the family who was the court with now, who we are trying to get title for through the courts. You know, so that, that struggle still continues. So who have a title? Who have a, who have a title already? The Thomas is Rasmaka. Oh, they have a title? Yes. Okay. All right, so we can ask you now. If the title, that means that they are, they are according to the, the, the court, them now can stay on the land? Yes, when they have title, then nobody can tell you about no <coughs> rights that that them have over you over your land, you have full right to recognize by the legal system. Yeah, all right. So how oh, the access going go now? Because we know that the, the highway up and over that side there, and now we hear that the court I give them permission, the people them for, for build. How oh, the access to that land going go now? Well, that is, I think, a question that is still to be answered, because we don't really know the plan that the hoteliers have to that place, you know, what I'm saying, drying and type of diagram or so forth, so we don't know what is their plan, but certainly that access road that we always use about Marley Beach has to remain open both for the families who live there and for the public who use that beach from ever since. 
But if you have access to if you have access to the land now, because I you know get taller than the the, 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 the entrance. It's kind of tricky. I mean, I, I went there today. It's kind of tricky because the highway is being built up. They have a big thing in the middle of the highway there. Yeah. Designer, you know, so it's really tricky to true, but that road is going to be preserved in the highway. It's just a matter of how it's going to be maintained for public access, you know? Okay, okay. So, sorry, no. So, I talk about the other family now, where the, the court, where the, the family that the court now say, what, what, what happened to that family now? What going to happen? Right, so I'm saying that what we saw in the media earlier this week was that was incorrect. The case has not been lost. The case is not finished. It was simply oh. one application. One application that was made for the extension of an injunction to get a, a stop order, right? To say that you must not do any kind of demolition or obstruction or interference with the land until the court case is finished. So the judge listed that stop order against that land owned by the students and family. But it's not over yet. We have another court date set for next week, Tuesday, the 25th, where we mm -hmm. go back to court to argue the overall strength of the case based on adverse possession. So it's an ongoing case. We lost one court ruling, which is the first, but it's a longer battle in court, which we're still engaged in. All right, uh, explain to me what, what was lost. Yeah, so what we had in place since October last year was this thing we call an injunction, which is a stop order to prevent any kind of obstruction, interference, demolition of the Stevenson family home that is there, right? Um, and it's an argument that we've been having with the other side in court in October. The judge said that the continuation of the injunction was not justified, right? And she really came to that conclusion, it seems, based on the fact that she said that this is a, you know, $200 billion USD here investment that is occurring, and that under the law, you know, the persons who are applying for injunction are supposed to be able to show that in the event that the injunction is deemed to have wrongfully prevent the developers from developing their land, the persons would have to be able to compensate the hoteliers for their lot investment. And of course, most of us in Jamaica don't have a twenty billion US to one pay anyone for it. And that's why the people then pay them for for last of the and, land. And, that is what they're saying now. You have to go pay up if you want to have this injunction continue. You know, you have to show your ability to pay it up if you want the injunction to continue. And that well, that million US dollars. Yes, which, which really, of course, makes no sense because here it is that the hotel has 200 and acres of land down there. They develop us, right? 200 and acres of land down there. But when Gavin's family is occupying less than three acres of land, right? So how is that we're saying that three acres of land can be occupied? For decades, you can venting the construction of the hotel. Not no, so. You can go and construct anywhere else on the whole of the land that I have down there. So it cannot be that the whole that has been in the same for all these decades is preventing construction or so forth. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a nonsensical argument that they can't really stand. You know? But because it's viewed that way, because it's put out there in the media and such, that is this hotel development versus the family land situation is like an either or but where, why can't they coexist? Right? Why can't a three acre family land coexist with a hundred and ninety acre hotel development? There's no that me I wonder to that me I wonder to it's, it's down to greed. But I mean it's down to greed. Some people want to have all and others have nothing. Alright, so what will happen now? What what we say about court again, what will happen now? Right, so we're going to court next week, Tuesday, for what we call a summary judgment application. Which is where we're going to argue before um, a different judge next week um, that the tenth of the students of family killed based on their over 60 years of occupation from Bunga Gabi down to his son and his other family members who are there cannot be ignored and those long standing of the family on that land prior, are to be prioritized over the land title that the company just get in 2019. That's what we're arguing, essentially, that these land rights have ever since must prevail over these recent land rights, even though these recent land rights is by land titles. We hope that the judge will agree with us on that legal title. You know, it's something to me like, we are watch a cowboy show, and the, the white man come and take with the Indian them land, and then yes. decide now, say, them have to compensate, the, 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 the Indian have to compensate them for the land with them themselves tea from the Indian. 
I don't know if they like that, you know, but it, it's weird, man. It's weird. It's really it's weird. Same thing. Are you saying that it's a privatization over colonial law, over colonial perspective of land ownership and land rights, compared to what we're calling traditional African centered land mm, occupation? Mm. Yeah. You know? Most indigenous people, right? not that one of African, but most indigenous people, land is to them teeth it. Exactly. <laughs> And then you want to turn around and say, you must don't go and prove that it's yours. You know, you put any paper saying it's not. You're, you're born there, you have children yeah. and grandchildren there, but they want to prove that it's your land. Too. And the man who come, they never even know that the land exists until he and build hotel. Exactly. No, no, not with the history of that land before. Like, yeah. You can tell you, say, you can't see them because of team land now. And the government in league with them, the government tell them, say, that piece of land is good. Since we're going to build up Ivy at St. Thomas, we don't see what we can do with a piece of land there. The, the, the government in league with them. I mean, they say that this is the Eastern Corridor for to open up now, and so we want to have this whole yes. South Coast Eastern Corridor uh, open up to tourism, right? Which is fine, but don't this place for people who is there all this time. Ah, no, I don't do that, Roger. And then came and they say, it's not right. Yeah, over 50 years, 60 odd years. I tell you, man, it, 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 it. All right, so give me, tell me something now. A man called me the other day and tell me, say, because of the eat, we are going. Them go as certain like Duns River, St. Um, Little Duns River, and see the gate lock. How oh, oh, the gate still lock? Come on, I plan for the car, the, 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 the lock are fighting out, because the place at them one go beard. Yes, yeah. Well, what I'm looking at, tell you, it's here. Look like an island-wide plan of some sort. Yeah, man, it's a plan. Oh, it look like. It's, what do you mean look like? It's, it's an island-wide plan. It doesn't look like. Yeah, but it's a post-COVID, post-COVID operation to occupy all the world of the and to privatize them for commercial value for some, you know, to the detriment of the majority who use it all this time. So, and that's why, North Coast, South Coast, East and West are the same thing. So, wh wh why is it that them still have the lock on the, the, the little lunch over place? Why, why, why go on this? So? I mean, <laughs> and we know Cabo always uh, mentioned it and I talk about it, and I know we're not involved, Taylor involved, you know, how yeah. oh, oh, that going on. Because a man just bring it to me the other day, say, him go down there, never even know the place. Back up that way, yeah, eh? That's another plan to lock the car, the lock. Yeah, because I'm saying, we were told from last year that there was, there was one shooting that was happening there, that happened there mm -hmm. last year, and so it was closed, they said, for some investigation of that situation. But it, 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 it's almost a year now. And yeah. it's closed, and they don't come back and say, well, this and that, or whatever, reason why it's, 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 it's been closed. There are several business persons who work down there, who have a business down there, who have been locked out of the whole, you know? Mm -hmm. from that time to now, the public can enjoy this space, right? And so it's again, it seems like an attempt to privatize the thing quietly, right? With the participation of government agencies. And, and them are ready yet, so them lock the gate and keep out the, the old nigga them all tight. Is that terrible <laughs> thing I go on? I don't know. This is, this is a terrible thing in, in this first year of so-called independence. It's like these kind of struggles over land access and rights, who is local, who is foreign. Who have rights as recognized by law. Just... All right, you're a man called me and tell me the other night. He said, Some of my family are staying at a hotel, right? And him go at the hotel for go check him family. And when him go through the gate and I'm going at the lobby, somebody come to me and say, No, 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 them can't do that. They must go outside, go back out of the road, you know, and make the family come to them. I never hear that from me, but I'm coming to go out and go to the lobby and ask somebody. I stand up in the lobby, I sit in the lobby and wait for the family to come. But I never know, say no. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, is that possible? Right, I guess once you want the land, you have the right to lock up people out of your property, yes? You know? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, really, you, you, you go to a family member and you, you know, question and figure out if it's true the man attack. You know, start to run out the man out of the hotel and tell him to the family member to come to him. And the family member didn't come outside, did come out there to him. What other thing say? Since you see the family come, you'll say, oh, it's true, my talk. All right, come, come sit on the lobby or something. I mean, we don't understand that. We don't understand that. Well, I'm saying again, if the government is not going to change some of these policies, right? Mm. And I'm saying that we, the public, as customers, should do some more politics. Why are we going to use hotels that continue to treat us like some classes? Yeah. Right? I have a family come and see us. And I could, if it was a white man who come to the hotel and the family come see you. But, but Virgil, I mm -hmm. can tell you something, Gav. I have been to, I can't even count the amount of hotels in the whole world where I go. 
I mean, you said somebody did that check me. I mean, we call him and say, right, I'm coming downstairs. Make him see the lobby there. White people, white people who own the hotel, big hotel, bigger than most of the hotels they were in Jamaica, more upscale than most of the hotels they were in Jamaica. And we walk along in the lobby and sit down there with my brethren for hours and hours attack, and nobody not come to me and tell me so we have to come out of the lobby. White people right. own the hotel, me attack out, and I'm, I don't matter if I can mostly white, I'm going to be a in there, a black people. And be there at Jamaica, you know, you can't sit down in the lobby and talk to your family member who pay money from foreign to come down here, so, and you want to see your family where you never sit for years. And you sit down in a hotel lobby with them. You know, I tell them to come in a room or nothing, you know. Because most of the hotel them now, now I tell them you can't carry no get in the room. But you sit down in the lobby with your family member, that man, and get up and I tell you, say, you have to come out of the hotel, and them have to come out of the hotel to come meet you. What kind of party system are going on in Jamaica? The man is poor customer service, plus is colonial thinking that we're still struggling with. Because the whole, the whole industry of uh, hotels in Jamaica come from the 60s and 50s. It is part of that, right? Because of colorism and generation. Yeah. And so yeah. that is why we, we think about it in this way. So you have to be a certain standard, either race or financially, to stay in, in hotel. And if not, and you're, you're outside that, then you're totally to be excluded and barred off. And it's the same thing with the beach as a problem, right? That if you're not good enough to stay in, in the hotel, you're not good enough to be on all of the beach. that beaches. Yes. It's a generational based thinking that is holding us back in this country. Yes. But me, 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 me kind of, that, that one day annoy me though, that one day about the lobby thing, it annoy me. Because when me hear the brother say, me say, hey, you know, so I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to try it and say, no, because I say, no, that, 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 that no sound, that no sound possible, right? that you go to look for your family member. And I'm going to tell you, you have to talk to them outside of the hotel. Like on the roadside, actually. Yeah, you have, to, you have to walk, go outside, come off of the premises. Yeah. The brother say, you have to come off, you have to come off of the premises. And the people, them, direct them to where you there, outside of the hotel, to come talk to you. Right. I never hear nothing like that in my life. Party, party, yeah, it's like a party. It's the same. Black people have to move from a certain place and go to a certain place. And that data, so data, 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 data come back. When that happens, we must put it on social media, right? And cost the hotel management for them sitting there. I mean, people don't, say, don't spend their money at this place that don't respect us and our families. Yeah. Terrible man, but terrible man. More. What a thing I go on in Jamaica, Rasta. You know, I mean, all is not good. It look good. But it's not really good. It don't look that way there. Because apart from the criminal activities we are going on, there's criminal activities against the people. Because we still live on the Bob Marley Beach. And we are saying, all right, you yeah, the man said them have almost hundreds of acres of land around the back of the sun. And they're going to build a hotel. And they're going to tell the people them who occupy just a little portion of the land, say, all right, you see, if you don't want to control the place, give it. How much hundreds of million of US dollars? <laughs> they think they had died, you know. It had died. Big company had died. The government had died, people. Because them set up the people, them, you know. Because them people they can't come here so unless the government gets sanctioned, you know. Just like the, the same sex marriage. Just like the same sex mar marriage we are going on in the North Coast. Them can't come here so come do that if they don't get some papers. Them get papers to do that. And the hotel management and the hotel owner, them know so that I go on at the hotel. So them know, I prefer to see two men are married in a them hotel than a man who have a family come at the hotel to come visit him from the way I'm not see for years, years. And him no one, them no one let him in at the hotel. He must go outside and make him family go to a road for meeting. Oh, what kind of madness that? This is the cutting edge and the Black Radar YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and keep listening. We have some things lined up here. Yeah, we have some things lined up here. We have an interview we do with Theo Chambers about AI. You know, we have been talking about AI all this long time from a good while now. And we say the AI momentum gather steam now because 
the big guys, them who really involved in it, I said them who are slow down the pace of it because it look like it want to take over the place. And they know them, say them are continue. You know, when you look upon this thing with them called God now, because God supposed to create man, you know, according to what them say, them say, God say, let us make man. So when them say us, I can't tell me deal with the English language, you know, us is more than one. So it's more than one, sit down and say, we are a great man, you know. I know him great man. I don't think he's a great man with the intention that he must go and go on like where I go on, you know. Because in the same place where we meet, when we read where he said, let us make man. It also say, man get out of hand, so we all this time and we repent that we make him. That means say, it will tell you, say, God has said, I'm sorry, say, make man. So he bring all sorts of things, flood and all them something. And even though when he bring the flood, him come again and make man go on. But man still, even get worse. Till him no man want to control the place. No man in a predicament, you know, because man turn on and say, let us make artificial intelligence. And us sit down again and make something named robot, iPhone, computer, and get an artificial intelligence. That's what they want to say. So these things that man create now look like them want to say, no, we're not called artificial. We're not artificial. We are the thing. So they must show them power now, just like how man show them power over where him claim create him these artificial intelligence assure them power now over who create them yeah we just should have mentioned about the AI phenomena that is taking place and how some people like the big guys they say now nah, go take away your work look here man AI go and take away whole heap of people work the artificial intelligence the robot them with them are make Go and take where a whole heap of people work. Because you can imagine you have a helper. And the helper has to go sit down and rest. She has to dip on her cell phone. She has to eat lunch and all them something there. The AI no not want no lunch. And then I sit down and no rest. And as a matter of fact, they don't want to sleep. So all when you go and go sleep, this robot that they watch your house or watch your car or watch your dog, them and everything. It's a serious thing. We see them make a machine right now. It costs one million dollars. US. Where it actually do it go through your you feel. And it's a big farmers. Farmer like we in America we have all one mile of field go down go down where you look. You can't see the enzyme crap them. Where that machine do is go through the field and weed out the weed them, get rid of the weed them and left the the plant, the sucker them where you want to stay there. And it do thirty people work. When me say it do, it do thirty people work. That means say. You see, little more all them farm work business we are going. That's so done we with. But them are ten people from here to go up to go farm and all them something there. Them go and cut that off because them machine here can't do. With one man can't do. The machine do 100 times where him can't do. So, you know, see all them problems with them about union and this and that a man has strike. Machine has strike. Machine might broke down, but you just get a man and fix that. And that them are going with, you know. You know, so say the youth them and ask, well, not, I don't know if I Jamaica tell because everything reach at Jamaica. And the robot, and they, what them call it, chat box, I do them school homework, you know. 
Yes, chat box, I don't let me see them now. Sully again, you know. So imagine now, you have, you have a walk around with some some youth with them head do have nothing in the night, you know. Because any answer that they want for them exam, when they do them exam, them just turn to them computer and get the answer in there. And then give up them work like it's them do it. Especially when they go to them homework at, at, at them yard. And nobody now monitor that. So look like, more you have a walk around. The people the ones that we have walk around, the only thing they can use is a computer, but they don't have nothing at them head. We will come forward again. <laughs> you are listening to the Black Radar YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and keep listening. And all symbols help for, for really cement the colonizers in all them cement it in your mind with the name and up the street them even the parish them call anybody who in Jamaica you right now and ask them about the, the name of the parish them and what them know about each parish the name of, like for St. Mary St. Elizabeth Trelawney Portland Kingston ask them who was these people? More than likely, if you ask 10 people, the 10 people, them don't know. And if you're going to the school, them go ask the teacher, them, them don't know neither. But guess what? It represents something. And we know say that something is not we. But we still maintain it. Because that is how them cement themselves in a history. Sometimes them even create alternate history. Them create a different history from what really history is. And we absorb the history that is played in front of us like it's real history. And we don't know, say, it's something they make up and put in front of us. And we keep repeating it and it become like it's true. Because you keep hearing it, your face says it's true. And that is how them cement themselves in your mind and your subconscious. That because you hear the thing all the while, you really believe it says it's true. Take how much things you hear all the while. And I bet you if you go check it out, not no go so. Yeah, man, not no go so. That's why culture, I will go back now to the culture argument. That's why culture is so important to our people. And our people who lose them culture, lose themselves. Because culture is the way of the people. And with them do, because we lose the culture, we come on here, so come get some bastardization of our culture. And mix it up with film thing. And turn out how it is now. We get confused and mix up. We really confused and mix up. Because now you are talking about cultures, different cultures in Africa. Most one normal Jamaican were dip on the street, were downtown. You mention them things to them, they're not really interested in that. They might think about how they might go get something for go buy a, a false fingernail or go buy a, 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 a polo t shirt, you know, Tamil figure, whatsoever. Or the new designs, they know what they want. Sometimes food are the last thing come out of their mouth, come out of their, come out of their mind. Because they were all hungry. And then people want to go out of school too. But a new thing come out and they I forget it because they're friends of it. Just like when we see some youth walk around with some 1,000 odd, some say 1,000, 100 odd thousand cell phone. And them parents will ask them where they get that from. A youth at God's school have a cell phone that costs 100000 dollars And your mother now asks you where you get it from. I don't like first time when a guy to go by and and a, 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 what them call it. Not care phone and not care the music call it, yes. And you just have the phone there. If you just make phone call, because that's all it could have done. Now them phone yeah, them do everything where you want it do. Everything. Yeah, man. And it costs much, 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 much more than with them little phone we used to have in our, in our palm. Our hand. 
and them youth you have it and them parents will ask them where you get the phone from because maybe them don't even know much for the phone because them now going on a phone shop because they no phone we mark a hundred and thousand dollar ninety thousand dollar eighty thousand dollar and them can't have food lunch money for them picnic for go to school and them pick me them pick me up food will cost one hundred and thousand dollar how is that possible and that is what them use for educate themselves in a the wrong way and that is how the guys cement himself in our brains so that me I talk about or cement himself in our brains continuously giving with certain gadgets and certain forms images stick in our brain we have pictures in our brain that do have nothing to do with we and we demonize everything that is we Yes, we demonize everything that is we. It's really a terrible situation. And you hear this story many, many, many times before. And we keep repeating it. How is it that anytime we think in our mind, think about our Lord and Savior, is a white man we think upon? How is that possible? Who cement that in your head? That every time you think upon the man where you go to church every Sunday, go praise to Jesus Christ. How you come to be seen a white man in your head? And your grandmother did that to the white man at all. And your great grandmother did that to the white man at all. And you realize that. Eh, no, you realize there's something wrong, but you can't figure out what is wrong because you can't get the image out of your head. Look how conscious you be. You are all the people around up and long and talk about Jesus Christ is that and Jesus Christ is that. When him really picture Jesus Christ in him head, it's the same picture where the man put on the wall and gave him a that he must say. And at that in praise and worship. How is that possible? And we know how possible it is because it has been done by thousands and millions of people unconsciously and sometimes consciously. Because they know the one who is feels same him conscious and feels say him get out of it and say, well, it doesn't matter what color Jesus is. Oh, you mean it no water? Then why him can't be black? Because me remember them did have a little picture of one black man with a, with, a, with a rod and a sheep beside him. And him just have a normal afro. And my grandmother begs about it. She said, that no represent for Jesus. Him too black. <laughs> my grandmother said that long time. She said, him too black. I'm going to represent Jesus. Because she know not want Jesus look like she and her grandpick them. How is that possible? That the man who give you that don't debout you, you don't know who gave it. Him just put the picture there. And that picture there become part of your consciousness or unconsciousness. That picture there become cemented in your brains for almost years now. Hundreds of years it's cementing on your brains. And you can't get it out because you're not making no effort. They make sure so you're not making no effort to get it out because the more you try to get it out and the more you see something else there, there for cement it more. Yeah, man. It's like the Roman Catholic Church which say God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Ghost. And then them come now and them tell you, say, Mary is the mother of God. And then them tell you now, say, in order to go to God, you have to go through Mary. I mean, the concept might be older than the Roman Catholic Church. But that is just a way of a cultural expression done thousands of years ago. 
by some other people. And then some other people take it and twist it and turn it and make it become for them thing. And then put the image on it like it's for them thing. Just like oh the guy, they are Jamaica with this, where we, we, we un, we un, we unveil this argument about the 76 enslaved Africans who strengthen iron in a Jamaica in a St. Thomas, strengthen it. And the guy take it and register it as theme invention, theme own, and go make millions of dollars pounds are fight and not going to make millions of pounds but England itself become one of the the greatest superpower in the world because of that but we never know say as some black man they do it but when him cement it when him patent it and paint it and put it all the wheel when we want to do it it become theme one so who is you know for come come say some black man do that, you know, because you know, have no way to go find that out until now when people start to get busy in themselves and realize about it. A black man they do this, you know, oh, them did that say Adam Mania and the Mania this year, him too, and that is how the like become true because you keep repeating it, them keep repeating it, and you start to accept it as truth and real. Just like how you don't know who make the light bulb first, or the stoplight them, and all these inventions that was designed and created by black people. It's a weird situation to find yourself in now. When we don't talk to Theo, we want to play a thing about maybe 100 things you never know the black people invent. Yes. We we'll play some of the things them that you never know that I mean I talk about everyday thing, you know. I mean I talk about no little like complicated thing, just everyday thing, like all peanut butter. You know them kind of way there. Eh? You never know say a black people first start make peanut butter. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to show you how the thing get twisted over the years, get hidden over the years, and people come on top with it over the years. And we start to really buy into them lie. As a matter of fact, we run down people with it too. Yeah, man, we run down people with it. Because we don't know better. Because how we come up. At that we see continuously. And we pick me come see it too. Well, not my picnic them, but you know. It take it it, 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 it you, have to, you have to take. You have to take some things and Get in your brains, get it out. And when you get it out, people don't, who can't get out for them one class say, You mad. You idiot. Where you think that I go serve? What kind of thing that? Look here, man. All them things that you see, bro, Jamaica, yeah, we represent the colonial master them. If it was relating to we as a people, confidence in self would be high. And if you don't have no confidence in yourself, you know what Marcus Garvey said, you're twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you win even before you start. And it's because the confidence gets good on and dwindling in African people's mind. Why you say, a whole heap of things now we are going on, so we can't even figure out all the big university, this and the university that can't figure it out. All the Minister of National Security and Minister of Education, they can't figure it out because they still not go to the root of the problem. You know, see, the root of the problem is that the colonial mentality is still embedded in the minds of the people, them, and them don't want to get it out because them themselves colonizing and feeling mind. It's like right now we are talking about teaching Marcus Garvey in a school. Who will teach it when the teacher them don't even know nothing about Marcus Garvey? And them now go allow people who know for going to go teach. It's just that. So the 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 the, the, the blind are lead the blind. You know what I'm saying? The kingdom of the blind. The one-eyed man is king. And that is really where I go on now. In the kingdom of the blind. The one-eyed man is king. 
ou Guento qui a des gardes. When the guard a guard, your house, who's guarding the guard? We in a serious problem. And we have to come out right, you know. We have to come out right, man. You think so? We are see all them things are in vain. We are after them things are in vain. I tell you, say, about one year ago, or more to, we are ball. Oh, come on, you know, instrumental music. And I tell you, say, why well, I answer, my prayer get answered, Rasta. The most instrumental music we have, we get. And this is one of them, Dean Fraser. Why Dean Fraser? I love him more than all Jesus love little children. Sly, oh gosh, man, may I tell you, we love you more than all Jesus love little children. Because with some instrumental music, I come about the place and all where. Oh, when I hear the youth, them make no music. Because them hunger use computer, the AI grab them. The AI can't change cars and but them so invent that too. <laughs> you know, the other day, I went, a Sunday we had a Cabo program and we had talked to a maroon, maroon leader from over the Portland side of Jamaica there. And I talked to him about how the maroon them, Nani and all them people there, Taki and all these people used to use the indigenous culture and spirituality to fight the war and to live. And my thing was that, oh, we know all of this. And we have Maroon now who claim Christianity. Well, the Virgin is not going to try to justify it, but we'll go to our next subject. But we still will ask the question, oh, I'm Maroon right now, in at this time, you know, knowing where I'm now, more than most people in a Jamaica, the so-called maroon them, no a whole heap of thing about the African presence in a Jamaica and also what the Africans them used to do. Why them is called healers. And all of the ones them who lead the rebellion them was healers. How is it that them know all of this? And the same religion will trap us at that now them turn to than works. Yes, and we have to figure it out. What are we get trapping at the web of confusion? What are we? No care how conscious this way is. There's something there that is embedded in us that we need to drag out of it. You know what I'm saying? Wash brains, your brain dirty, you wash it. Some of our brains are not really dirty that bad, but it needs some washing. Yes, too long, man. Too long, Rasta. A long, long time, you know? Long, long time. People come and say this, and people come and say that. But it was, it still linger. Good night, Theo. Good night, how are you? I am totally okay, man. Trust me, I'm totally okay. So, so me and you talk, you mentioned something to me, and it was up my street. And I said, I have to put you there because you say, you have a whole book now. <laughs> I, I don't get the book yet, still, you know. All we are going, you know. You didn't get it? No, sir. I don't get the book yet, but that oh is another talk. Anyway, don't worry yourself, but here we know. We want to talk about it, you know. What the book, you, you mentioned a little about the book, but tell the people them where the book I deal with. The book deals with artificial intelligence, who we are, how we live in a parallel universe or multiverse, it also deals with lifestyle, things that we always want to challenge ourselves about, about religion and philosophy and so forth. But the most important thing is artificial intelligence. An example, that a chimp and a human being have 99% exactly the same DNA. But the 1% difference between a chimp and a human being make it impossible for, for Muta to text 
a chimp and a chimp takes him back and have a communi- uh, rational communication. It's impossible. We're 1% different. That means in order for anything to communicate with another human being, must be the same level as, as a human being or above. If you keep that philosophy right and right in front of you, then now artificial intelligence must be in the same level as a human being or above because when you type to artificial intelligence, it's giving you an answer back that you can communicate rationally with that artificial intelligence. So for people to think that artificial intelligence is something joking, no, it's an intelligence that thinking, rationalizing, can learn just like a baby learn a language and is becoming controlling the entire human race. That is very important to keep in mind. Number two, when you think of an example you can tell artificial intelligence right now that you want to write a book on music. You want to write a book on the history of regular music. And you want it to be 200 pages. Muta, in less than 10, I would say, 8 minutes or 3 minutes, between 3 to 6 minutes, it will give you a complete history of the Reggae. music industry, everything with, with with book cover, images, everything. Yeah. That's scary. It's now, scary because they have, they have voices now that if can make it sound like it's me, I tell you something and it's not me. Oh, you know, says me, I talk to you. Oh, you know, says Muta, I talk to you. No. Exactly. That now, is where you come, eventually reach. Now, but here comes the scary part. The legal system, I predict, within three to five years, the legal system all over the world went to come to a collapse. You know why? Somebody accused Muta of saying something, and they're going to court now, and how can they prove it wasn't you? With what exists right now? Yeah. Artificial intelligence can do anything, so therefore, a jury and a judge depends and the authenticity, authentic, the authentic evidence that is brought to the court. Yeah. How can you bring a document right now and say, I wrote it, you wrote it, this person said that, it's impossible. So the, so the line be between reality and fake gone. is gone. Yes, yeah, gone, yes. And it's totally we'll, gone. We'll figure now, say, maybe it won't take I just, I just, I don't, I don't know if you are listening when I start, but I build up a scenario here so about this thing where I'm called God. God, them say create man. Him say let us make man, and they make him man in our own image. And what I'm now is that man become intelligent, and him start to behave. Like him want to dominate God, in other words. <laughs> the potter tell the pot the, the, the maker who and what him is. So him a move independently of his maker. That's now right. I am I am seeing something like that happen now where man are gonna make a robot and the robot now is going to get so intelligent that him going to say, Who is you for tell me who me is? Cause I'm gonna move independent of man. Oh, you see that? Guess what? If we are able to program AI to think and rationalize, then we need to look at that we might be programmers. We might be also AI in some other intelligence. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Now, I want to read something for you that I have on page 149, right? I think we're going to love it. What if I was God? If I will, if All right, I will, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stick up in there. We're going to go to a break and come forward. The informative information presented in this video is motivational and is positively aimed at inspiring, educating, and entertaining the viewers with the cutting edge of critical reasoning. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support. Talking to Teo Chambers about a book that them just 
sent out there about AI. He was about to read something from the book. Yes. Yes, Theo, he was going to read something yes. about... I want uh, to read just four paragraphs from the book cover of the book called AI Wanted. The godfather of AI, Godfrey Hinton, quit Google and warned of the dangers of misinformation. Hinton, 75, said he quit to speak freely about the dangers of AI and in part regrets his contribution to the field. MIT professor and AI researcher Marx Tegmark is stress about the potential impact of artificial int general intelligence and human society. The Association for Mathematical Consciousness Science stated that AI system having feelings and even human level consciousness are no longer in the reign of sci-fi. Eliza Drukowski, an AI researcher, has argued that the development of AGI that is not aligned with human goals could lead to ex existential risk of humanity, including the possible, including the possibility of the AI killing all humans and planet Earth. This is serious that is happening out there. And I just want to share with you and the audience something very important. There's a warning. Someone can call right now. In fact, you can leave me a message. Theo, call me. And in those a few second message, I can take that voice, five seconds of your voice, and create a total conversation about you. So I could call your wife and say, hi, this is Muta. I need you to go to the bank and wire me $1,000 or $10,000 to, to, to this bank account. Yeah. She knows your voice. Of course. She knows everything. And my, my warning now to the entire public Make sure there's a code between you and your wife and your children that at the end of your request for a transfer of money or, or to take action, you use a code like an example, Alaska or China or 1949. If they don't hear that code at the end of the conversation or request, you know they're trying to scam you. That's number one. Number two, jobs are being lost right now with, with artificial intelligence. But more than that, the danger, an example, Muta Baruka just got a pacemaker in his heart and they placed it there good. He is the president or prime minister of Jamaica. I live in China and I want to kill Muta. I can hack your medical file Get the model of your pacemaker that you have, create a virus, click one button, and the, the virus <laughs> goes straight to your heart, and you drop dead and no one knows what happened. Yeah. That's artificial intelligence. Okay? I'm, I, 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 don't coach, I am wondering about these mass shooting in America now that happened so rapidly. You never usually hear it so rapid. I wonder what is it that is causing these so much mass shooting? Maybe, maybe, just maybe it have something well, like that. Let, let me say this. One of the greatest artificial intelligence or, or game producer from Google said one thing. He said, if I create a game that is easy to solve, then people will not be engaged in that game. It must be difficult, it must be challenging, it must go through all of those things for it to become exciting. When these kids spend two, three days fighting and killing and jumping over fence and so forth, these things come embedded in the brain and of the course. part of the mind, body, and soul. Simba. And they act, huh? No, what you know, man, I was saying something I didn't know about Simba. Yes, and they, and they act this out, you see? And that's what creating all of these killing that's going on there because they are brainwashed yes. through artificial intelligent game. But in the same breath, here comes the crazy part, Muta. He's saying, if the entire world agrees and we all think alike and act alike, 
then we'll be a boring world. We will be living in a cult. And that's the reason why the Creator created all the possibility, including fight, killing, loving, all of that. That's what the artificial intelligence writer is saying. This world that we live into is a simulator. It's a game. It's a big game. The same way we create a game, somebody created us. And it's not someone created us out of mud and stuff like that. We are programmed. We are programmed just like we are programming artificial intelligence. But people say, man did that? No. If you think of who human, who we are as human, we are 37.2 trillion cells. So when I look at you, my brother, I'm seeing 37.2 trillion cells. So when, when a human go to a lab and examine all cells work, we are examining ourselves. That's the reason why we are able to, to, to change and operate on our own body because we are nothing but cells, intelligent cells. When you were in your mother's womb, my brother, you were connected by the umbilical cord. So everything that made you came through the umbilical cord, your blood, the oxygen, the emotion, everything came through the umbilical cord. That's the reason why your first brain is your gut. And 80% of all your diseases happen in your guts. So when you take a, when you eat raw food and you eat an apple and a mango and so forth, the intelligence inside that mango knows what to digest, what to send to your blood, what to send to your muscle, what, what you want to urinate, what you want to sweat out, what you, what you want to use as a, you know, uh, yeah. as a yeah. fee, 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 and all of that stuff. It's so intelligent. In how we live right now. So when people go to church, look, Muta, hear this joke. People go to church, name me the best minister you can find on planet Earth. A majority, majority of them have what? A Bible in one hand and a medical card in one hand, okay? If they get sick, what they want to tell you to do? Rush me to the doctor, then pray for me. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Yeah. Not take me to the church and pray for me, right? The amount of faith that they have in in this so-called God that they created. Mm-hmm. So if you want to understand how the universe is put together, always think of yourself at 37.2 trillion cells working in harmony with the universe. But I want to share something with you out of the book, a satire that, 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 that I wrote called, What If I Was God? If I were the perfect God, I will recreate the world, and one of the first things I will do is admit that I'm tired of fighting and arguing with the 37.2 trillion cells we call the human race. I will admit that I've created humans with free will, but I did not know how abusive man would be with such power. I will admit that the human race are disrespecting my commandments, and are almost at the brink of destroying my earthly creation. I will not hesitate to admit that I've lost control over the human race. So, if I were God, my recreation of the updated 37.2 intelligence human race will have these modifications. No free will. Human will not be made in our image, no right from wrong. I will update the 37.2 intelligent humans with better resistance to disease and sickness so they stop praying to me every second of the day for my health. This way I can find peaceful moments to create other planets and galaxies without daily interruption by humans with their begging for favor behavior. I will strongly consider eliminating death because if I don't Human will create new religion in search of what happened after death. I might even make them, I might even make the updated version of 37.2 intelligent human breatharians. This way, killing animals for consumption would be something of the past. What if I were the devil? I, if, I were the, if I were the devil, I would ask God the following question. God, why are you giving me such a battle rap worldwide? You know that I did not create myself. You created me with the ability to think and act the way I do. 
And when I exercise those rights, you punish me and cast me aside. Wait, wait, here it is. Akasha God, you did not act like a good and loving father by taking me into your arms and showing me love and affection. On the contrary, you told all my brothers and sisters to stay away from me. God, you told my brothers and sisters that I was evil. Know that I am lonely and miserable. And when I do things to get the attention of my brothers and sisters so that I can have friends and companionship, you punish them for following me or even if they are seen in my company. God, you could have taken away the breath of life from me the first time I disobeyed your commandment. Why have you allowed me to act the way I do? Then you do nothing to correct my mental state. Why leave me to develop into this cruel and revengeful person when you could have hugged me and shown me love and affection that I have not had in thousands of years? Why have you permitted me to live thousands of years without stopping my destructive and malicious behavior. And I just want to write one more. What if I were a rational human? If I will, if I was a rational human, I would ask God why you created human whom you call your children, then turn around and divinely impregnate divine intercourse with one of your daughters by the name of Mary, who had your son, Jesus. If I was a rational human being, I would also ask God why he didn't get why he didn't get it right the first time he wrote the whole testament. What was wrong or omitted from the old testament that you needed to correct in the new testament? If I had any guts to face God, I will tell him that you are the creator of the human race. Therefore, you should step up and take full responsibility for humans with homosexual and lesbian tendency. You program them. You must come out of hiding, physically absent, and put some of your human creation straight by letting them know that everything stops with you. It will be best to let the entire human race understand that the cruelty thinking and revengeful behavior are part of your master creation. You are the creator, the programmer, and the ultimate ruler of the human brain and thinking process. And last one, if I were a rational human, I would tell God, notice, and notice that death is a permanent part of your creative process. Millions of our cells die every day. Every living thing goes through the metamorphosis of birth, growth, astrophy, transition, and rebirth. If, if you had any intention of us living forever, you could have done so from day one. Am I correct, God? My rational mind tells me that you planted the tree of knowledge in the Garden of Eden and put Adam and Eve in eye view of that tree. Then... When they eat from the tree, you punish them for life. God, we human call that type of behavior entrapment. Uh, yes. That's some of, that's some of the things that. So, one. <laughs> so the book is there, but I just want to go back just for one second to the artificial intelligence. Right now, people are calling corporation and banks and major company calling the financial pe department and tell them to transfer m money to different banks and so forth and you'd be surprised the amount of things that is happening right now your home that is modern home that you can enter your home by your voice be careful yeah, because yeah. no someone can take your voice go up to your door and say oh, oh, it. <laughs> but what's that wrong with that? Huh? You, 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 but not, you can't stay anywhere in the world and see where you're going in your house, too. Exactly. So if you exactly. can't do it, them can't do it, too. Exactly. Yeah. In, imagine, imagine you're driving now a driverless 
automobile. So, yes, in, a, in a San Francisco. Yeah. And I turn around and I tu- and I tap into to your automobile because I know the code. And I said, turn left and stay left. And you up in a hill and there's 2,000 feet down t- <laughs> and the level yeah. of you. You lost can- control. But you know, what is happening in San Francisco? I mean, I don't know San Francisco, but apparently they didn't program these um, self-driven cars to identify siren. So right. when the, the fire brigade and the ambulance moving, it creates havoc on the street then because the, the cars them is not responding to siren for stop or for pull over. Them just keep going and it slow down the, the fire brigade and the ambulance them. So that is really a problem. Them need to carry them back in now to program them so that them can respond to fire engine and ambulance. You know, that is artificial intelligence going up well, there. Yeah. yeah, and and now, M- Muta, we have no secrecy in this entire world anymore. No. You know exactly who you are, where you are. Yes. Artificial intelligence is totally in control of our entire life. Everybody knows. Who, the minute that you have an email address, yes. a bank account, Yes. A credit card. Credit card. A passport. Passport. Your name and number is there now. The, the thing that we need to understand that you can protect yourself all you want. But if they tap in to Google database like they have done and stole millions of email addresses, you could be one of those million email addresses that is being targeted. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. now they create all these uh, scam items to to sign in to to your bank or your credit card, and they end up getting your username and password. And all in a sudden, you wonder why your bank account is empty. Yeah, well, you know, you know, um, they're making this chip for putting human beings that can detect disease. Before it got out of proportion, like cancer and all them things, you know, they must say, they have chip where they can implant in you, know, so as to protect you from disease that will take over your body and they see it before it, it spread, you know. So the opposite is also yeah. dear to that. They're making the yeah. chip to really control people. Do, do, do you know what a cyborg is? Cyborg is, right? C-Y-B-O-R-G. Yeah. That's off man and off, off te- you. Yeah. technology. Yeah. That is happening right now because you you have the cashless supermarket. Right? I, I witnessed that. When you walk into... <laughs> right? I witnessed right? that. <laughs> when you walk into the place, pick up what you want, walk out, yeah. and that's it. It just, it just got, it just got your, your uh, you see how them do it now, like, you take the them off of the shelf and put it in the, 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 the trolley, and the trolley now, know who the coming of the thing with that trolley, and them That's send, right. them send the bill, them take it out of your, 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 your credit card, yes. so you, I mean, if, if a Jamaican who don't know go there, it might feel them a walk out. With some free food, but really actually, if get the pay feet even before him knows him pay feet. <laughs> yes. Them are they have any cash here in a in a supermarket again? A, a witness that in England, you just go in there and take the thing them, put out just like it, it, it's something like where them having a Jamaica where the cashier actually just scan the, the food with the barcode and okay. then them check up. Now them them eliminate the cashier. Them eliminate right. the cashier in England. That's you know, right. it, 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 it's weird. But, I mean, it's not weird, but, you know, it, it's something else. It's something else well, but. I, I can t- t- tell you that with right now, they are working in downloading the human brain. Yes, but memories. This, this, yeah, no, yeah. this is no sci-fi business. No, this is serious stuff. No, man, not true, man. Not true, they, not true. The, they, they are finding yeah. a way to download the human brain. Yes. And one day... They will be able to tap in to your brain and know exactly what you're thinking and so forth. 
And what is amazing, Muta, you go to church and they give you 10 commandments. If you violate, God will send you to hell. But, but, but human is, is, is creating all of these stuff, you know, destroying the human body. And nobody's saying that God is going to come and punish you and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, there's no punishment for, for the worst thing that is happening on planet Earth. Yeah. So religion is getting a knock, yes. you know, yeah. because the young people then don't believe in the spirit, in, in the game that is laid out thousands of year, years ago in the religious context because they have answers because they know technology. Yeah. They can get the answer that they, that they want right now. Today, the average person is not thinking about dying and going to heaven and being saved because, you know what, they're extending their life on planet Earth. Yes, right yes. now, Elon Musk and those guys are working in converting different planets for humans to be able to live. Yes, they are yes. dropping different things to, do, to, do, to create plants, to, 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 to create oxygen, and all of those different things and different planets. So, yes. so an example, 40 years ago, we saw Dick, Dick Tracy talking into a watch in his hand. Yes. That's reality. No, I remember, you remember last in space. Last yes. in space where them used to have cell phone. Yes. And that, that, that I like when me a picnic, that I like 50 years ago, 60 years ago, yes. they will have last in space. Them will have cell phone in it. Who did know, say, it's not science fiction, no. It, 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 it. Yeah, it, it get away. It get away, Reggie. It get away. Well, well, so I was so far to go. Even, even McDonald, Burger King, you have, you have computers now making burgers yes. and making sandwiches. Yes. That means you as a and they don't get tired, they don't ask for, for no, 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 no. They don't get sick. Yes, they don't get anything. They work twenty four seven, not more. <laughs> translators, yes. if you go to to school to be a translator, your job is in jeopardy. Yeah, your phone. I yeah. translate no. Exactly. A man, give me a phone. That idea. Well, not give me. I buy a phone. I will look. Me see it, Mark. Transit and it, it have about twelve different languages in there we can translate. Well, somebody exactly. say, you know, it's it weird. Exactly. Anyway, we have exactly. to move now, Bridge. We have to move. We have to come up on yes. time. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check what happened to your book because I tell the people they're going to book right. me. Not tell the people they're going to book me. The book name: The Imperfect Perfect Universe by Theo Chambers. Okay, the sir. Imperfect Perfect Universe by, by Theo, Theo Chambers, Chambers. is on Amazon. Okay, all right, give thanks. All right, yes, King. Yeah, man. Yes, uh, some serious, serious thing, even though it might look light, you know, you know but when I have get 10 years, you know, five years down the line, all the way, all the way, people them are learning at school, will become null and void. Because it will have no significance and relevance to what will happen. As we have said a while ago, say, the people them are do homework you now and them now nah use them brains. So you're going to have a, uh, some people you now when them grow big, brains with no it's just a shell of a brain. Because them do have to think again. Them have something to think for them. And it starts already with the iPhone, with the cell phone, with the computer. And it gets more and more developed as go as it goes on. Or uh, underdeveloped, maybe. It's a terrible thing, terrible thing. We don't know what will happen, but we can predict what we shouldn't want to happen. And these guys know what will happen before we because they have information. The people with the most information will run the world, or is running the world. So we have to just wake up, African people, wake up. You know, we have to get it together. The informative information presented in this video is motivational and is positively aimed at inspiring, educating and entertaining the viewers with the cutting edge of critical reasoning. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support.